Hello friends, in this video we will learn in details about VTP, that is VLAN trunking protocol. We all know that VTP is mainly used for synchronization of VLANs using trunks. So let's learn in details about VTP. Let's consider that we have a switch and let's name this switch as switch one. And we have configured 200 VLANs. And we have another newly introduced switch. Let's name it as switch two. And we would like to make sure that we have all these 200 VLANs in our newly introduced switch. So how are we going to configure this 200 VLANs? The best configuration what we can do is configure our switch to in BTP mode client. And since you already know that the switches by default will be in server mode, Okay, so let's assume that this is already in a VTP mode server. Okay, that's in server mode. Now when you connect these two switches, since this is in, is in our client mode, there is synchronization. that is occurring from switch one to switch two. For example, you have configured VTP mode server for your switch one, okay? And you have also given a domain name, VTP domain Cisco. Okay, this is all happening in our switch one. So what's the domain name here? Cisco. So your domain name is also copied here, your switch two, which is a client mode, BTP, will take this information of domain name from the switch one, which is in server mode, and it synchronizes to your switch two, which is in our client mode. So apart from this domain name, it will also synchronize those 200 VLANs so that you don't need to manually configure this 200 VLANs. So it will just get synchronous. So the main logic behind VTP is that it helps in synchronization of VLANs. But what are the three modes of VTP? There are three modes of VTP. 
one is server mode one is client mode and you have transparent mode okay so here you can modify your vlans that is you can add edit delete or you can create vlans okay that is possible in your server mode in client mode this option of edit adding deleting okay uh, creating vlans is not present you cannot do these functionalities of any modifications of vlans in your client all you can do is just a synchronization it just takes the advertisements from the server mode switch to your client mode it just takes the data okay what about the transparent mode it pretty much adds similar to your server because it can edit it can add it can create or delete vlans but what is that which it cannot perform is that it cannot participate in the synchronization of vlans we will look at that in just a minute so this cannot take any details which is present from the server mode all it can do is but it can definitely pass the vlan information of its own to other switches but it does not have any synchronization capability in a transparent mode vtp of the switch so let's take an example let's consider we have a switch 3 here okay and this is connected to your server mode switch 1 and i'm going to connect them so when you connect this switch three and you by default you are all aware that all the switches are in server mode so to make this transparent you just need to go, go to the global configuration and give this command btp mode transparent and ensure that before you do that all the three chunks has to be performed between all the three switches you need to make a trunk configuration because your vtp works only on trunk mode it does not work on access ports it only works on trunk ports Okay, so it is one of the prerequisite you will need to ensure that all the connectivity between the switches are set to trunk before you make vtp configurations so what happens here so we have a switch sw3 that is switch 3 connected here it is also connected one end is connected to your client mode vtp another end is connected to server mode switch one however there is no vlans because 
it does not participate in synchronization of VLANs with respect to switch one. So participation and synchronization is absent. And you cannot see any VLANs because it does not participate in synchronization of VLANs. It just passes the information. If there is another switch here, assume that there is switch four, and this is set to a client mode. It will just pass this information from the server mode switch um, one to this client mode. So it will pass this 200 VLANs and yes, the domain name Cisco. But this switch tree, which is in transparent mode, will not have any VLANs. But it will involve just in the passing the VLAN details of its own to another switch. Okay. Now, if you want to manually add VLANs, it's possible within this transparent mode. If you want to create a VLAN, you will need to manually add VLANs within your transparent mode switch three. Okay, so uh, this is how the function of VTP works. We will learn in details about the revision number in just a while. What is a revision number? Any configuration change that you do on your switch related to VLANs, it results in revision change. For example, you delete a VLAN, revision one. You add a VLAN to the same switch, revision two. So any changes that you are making, that will give you the revision number. So let's assume here that we have a revision number of eight. So far, we have created 200 VLANs on our switch one, which is in server mode. Okay, and yeah, I have kept the same switch, which was switch three in transparent mode. And you know very well that transparent mode will not participate in synchronization of VLAN, but however, it will take the domain name from the server. Okay, so domain name Cisco has been uh, retrieved from your switch one. And VLANs is a zero because it cannot participate in the synchronization of VLANs. And here, since it's a client mode, there is 100% synchronization on our client mode. And yes, the revision number is eight, and this revision number is also eight. And here in the transparent, also the revision number will be eight, okay? All right, so now let's let's assume what happens here um, that we are going to remove this client mode. We are going to take away this switch completely from switch one and we will just isolate that. We will convert this client mode to a server mode now. And how do we do that? You just need to go to global configuration on the switch with this command VTP mode server. And what I do, I see there are existing VLANs. I just want to remove all that VLANs and I'll go ahead and make some changes. And I will be creating only one VLAN. That is, you can give it as show. VLAN 
brief you can see all those existing VLANs and you can just remove or add and make any changes and assume that you have removed and deleted all those VLANs so now your VLANs are zero okay you have your VLANs and this is zero nil there's no VLANs already your revision number is eight and you're all aware that if you make any changes on the switch your revision number will increase so let's assume that your revision number has been raised to um revision eight two it has gone to revision 12 and you are going to again make that server mode back to your client mode and i'll just give this command btp mode client and i'll just keep that back i made changes using server mode i'll make this um back to its client mode and i'm going to attach that to the switch connect it here now what happens this has got highest revision number switch 2 has got highest revision number okay what is the functionality of the switch in vgp is that the synchronization happens based on the higher revision number now this switch one will try to sync the vlans it will try to learn the advertisements and vlan information from the switch too because it has got the higher revision number okay so it will learn the details from switch two switch one is going to learn the details from switch two and what happens when it is learning here the revision number becomes 12 right the revision number here was 8 earlier so this also becomes 12 and since it's learning from switch 2 your vlans are nil so this vlans that you see here 200 becomes what nil so all your production vlans are wiped away no more VLANs. It's gone. This is going to cause a security threat, especially in your production environment. If you have a very in, in, um, important or critical VLANs, you will lose them. Always ensure when you're adding a new switch, if the revision number is higher than this production VLANs, then you need to be very careful in configuration okay because this can be a threat to the business to the company that has built his vlans okay so this is very useful from the point of ensuring that you have to take care about the revision numbers especially when you're adding a new switch to the existing network i hope that this video has been helpful we will learn in details with the lab configuration in our next video so see you in the next video